Hello guys, long time. Just a quick, I think it's been a month, but I, I'm really um, concerned for my cousin Joe Rogan. Everyone is coming after him, you know, everyone is coming after Joe Rogan for no good reason, really, okay? Uh, one thing that I try to do, I think I've said this many times, one thing that I try to do, if if I find something controversial or if someone says something about someone, I like to hear that person out. I don't believe other people's words about what a person is. I don't even, even if you send me like a little video telling me that someone is bad and give me as evidence, give me like five minutes of them talking about something and some of that's good evidence. I would rather go and watch like four or five hours of that person before I make a decision on what sort of uh, person they are. I'm not saying I do it all the time, but that's roughly how I do it. Um, I, I try to find out what that person says about themselves, how they answer people's objections, etc. So even if it's not five hours that I'll give to it, I'll try to get a, a full picture of everything. So this is why I think anyone who knows or who's, been, uh, who's ever watched Joe Rogan of which most of us, you know, we've been watching or listening to Joe Rogan over 10, 11 years, whatever it is, right? We know that Joe Rogan is a good person. And, and these, these shadow people are coming out and um, casting aspersions upon the man. I don't even know what aspersions mean, but I think aspersions means, um, you know, they're, they're, they're putting their bad vibes on him. They're putting all this dark stuff around him and saying that that's, that's who Joe Rogan is, you know. I think the one thing that Joe Rogan has done wrong in all this is apologize. Do not apologize to these people. Ignore them. Ignore these people. That's what you are supposed to do, you know. That's, that's what Candace Owens said she does. She says, I never apologize. I just say, yep, that's what I said at the time. Deal with it. This is the right way to do it. But because he keeps on trying to apologize for this, apologize for this, they're not going to stop. There's a thousand podcasts of Joe Rogan, and they will go through every single little thing. They will not be satisfied until Joe Rogan takes his own life. Okay? So Joe Rogan should wise up and stop apologizing to non-existent individuals. If there's an article on, um, on TV saying that uh, Joe Rogan is bad, blah, blah, blah. He doesn't need to apologize to some journalist. Do not apologize to people you do not know because those people don't really want apologies. They want you gone, Joe Rogan. They want Joe Rogan out because he's giving us misinformation, right? That's the thing. They, because we are not supposed to have misinformation. We should only have true information. And how do we know when we're getting true information? Well, the government will tell us. The government will tell us when we have good information. And the, the experts will tell us what's good information. The, the approved experts, right? That's what's happening here. And once again, I find myself wishing and regretting that I have lived in this world um, and met people who, 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 one, don't believe in the devil, and two, do not believe, do, do not read 1984. I mean, this is a disaster. You know, at least if you don't believe in the devil, at least read 1984, right? But you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't believe in the devil and not see that they're trying to kill Joe Rogan. Or you can't read 1984 and not see that this is wrong, right? However, I know some people are very satisfied to live their lives never having read 1984. Well, I am sorry because right now, Big Brother is watching you, okay? They're going to come for you as well. So I'm, I'm praying, I'm hoping, I'm wishing that please, guys, let's wake up. Let's all get behind Joe Rogan, okay? This is a good man that they're trying to kill. There's literally worse stuff that Joe Rogan has done, racially speaking. But it doesn't matter. It's Joe Rogan, okay? <laughs> it's Joe Rogan. And the truth is, he doesn't have to apologize to invisible people. That's it. That's, that's my deal. That's my deal. Joe Rogan doesn't need to apologize to invisible people. Then finally, guys, if you can subscribe, please subscribe. Because apparently, YouTube doesn't want people with less than 50 subscribers to 
live stream. It's insane. I don't know what they're doing. So, you know, I'm going to be trying to move over to Rumble. That's, that's what I'm going to do. Because I think YouTube and the Metaverse people, not nah, good, man. No good. Anyway, Joe Rogan needs to take a lesson from Candice Owen. And the thing, I think the real thing here is Joe Rogan had, um, he, he's got, he, he had in the pipeline, he had um, Robert Kennedy coming on. And, and I think maybe they're, they're trying to get rid of him. They're trying to get rid of him because we must all be kept safe from the lies by our loving parents, okay? So I'm saying these people, um, they're not doing right. And please, let's read 1984 and leave Joe Rogan alone. And Joe Rogan, do not apologize to invisible people, okay? That's what you need to do. Bye.